this is Mofosida and this is a review of Transformers Masterpiece MP5 Leader Megatron. Now I'll take let's take a look at the packaging since that's what you're looking at. Side view. And here's the back. Alright, right over here is the story for him, right here is G1 counterpart, like Prime I'm gonna hit you with a smace, which looks photoshopped, here he is with an energy sword, him with a gun, him with Kremzeek, him with his cannon, him in gun form, what the box has inside, and his robot mode, he's gonna blast you, and his gun form, which you should always put on soft, silky, red fabric. Alright, before we unbox this, I bought this from Anime King and Anime Expo. They have their own website and an eBay. So go check them out. They may have stuff that's just right for you. Alright, let's open this up and let's see what's inside. off of here. Let's see. Back there's his instruction case. That's pretty goddamn big. Hello. Alright, we have Kremzik's cannon himself. Energon weapons, pretty nice. All right, now next we're gonna take a look at what's actually inside. Before we take a look in the package, it looks like there's a redeemable thing for ten points. But I don't know what it is. We're gonna take a look at what was packaged inside the masterpiece Megatron. Here it's card. G1 esque, very blocky. Here, I suppose, is a story or I don't know. There's his stats, very high. Except for this, this one is like, I don't know, intelligence? I don't know. Weird. Here's the instruction booklet, but the cover is like really nice. There's like Optimus Prime target with a gunshot right there. Peace through tyranny, the gun in the background. It's over Prime. And Peter getting right here. Pretty cool. Over here. The best story of Megatron, which is the best episodes of Megatron and was featured in Heavy Metal War, Insecticon Syndrome. Microbots and a two parter Megatron's master plan. This is what he comes with, how to put it on the gun. This one is actually the start of the transformation process. Right here, so we're gonna go read through this. It's like the G1 version, but amazingly overcomplicated. Your acceptance is based on your answers to three simple health questions. Plus, there's no waiting period. Full benefits of up to $50,000 are payable from the first day your coverage takes effect. 
The legs look okay. like freaking no risk guarantee. Very, very difficult. From I remember from the reviews. Alright, this part is how to put on the accessories like the maze. The gun, the sword, how to use the laser. I have not checked to see if this works or do I have to put in batteries. I don't know what the hell this thing right here is. We'll tell you how to join. Telephone numbers. 1-800-705-1188. Here is a line of Megatrons. From G1, G2, Action Master G2. Ah. Gobots. Machine Wars. Beast Wars. Armada. Beast. Machines, these machines, or ID. I don't watch the toy line. This is step, so yeah. Beast Wars Megatron, Reverse Megatron, Master Megatron, G1 again. I don't know why this stuff is like out of order. No, oh, no, this is Robot Masters, Beast Megatron. Let's go on my toy line. It isn't a person. Where the hell is Energon? Uh, I guess it doesn't count since it was Galvatron. Here is the bat. Transformers Masterpiece. Destron Leader Megatron. Yeah. Robot mode, gun mode. This is accessories. TV animation. MG Mace. Item and function fusion cannon. TV animation and movie. Laser dagger and blaster in the movie. Oh. Here's the creme Zeke. And this picture looks like a dog who wants to go outside. Whatever. This is pretty cool. And it's nice. Like I said in the other two. Pictures, pictures, pictures. Alright, we have... Megatron's energy saber you can fit on pretty well. Open up his hands. Pull down the thumb. You know, there's a tab, and then there's a hole right here that connects to it. And it's always a bit difficult to get it right in there. So you pull down the fingers. One tip. Leave, put in the fingers one at a time. Because you try to do it together, it won't work. If you have a stiff hand. There we go. Energy sword. Do you destroy you? Alright, moving on to the other thing that requires his hand. Gun used in the movie. This one's a bit easier to get to since this is a firm grip. Put one in trigger trigger finger in, put the other three the handle, put the thumb down, and there you have it, he's ready to shoot you. Now, here's Crumb Zeke, very nice, translucent figurine, painted eyes and mouth, obviously. Now, the mace. The mace, the ends are both translucent purple, while the chain is just painted purple. It has like a weird vibe to me, man, but whatever. Works pretty freaking well as a mace. It works pretty damn well for a mace. It works pretty damn well.
Alright, so we get the gun off him. We open the arm, flap in, folding in the fingers. And then of course it falls off. But the important thing we're here for is his ridiculously huge fusion cannon, which you can actually would be able to see from if you didn't have electronics to make it do this. I am blinding you. Sorry about that. But you can put it on him like this, and he can shoot you, but he won't. Well, he's a pretty good figure, except for the hip kibble. Although, there's some more detail under his helmet, but... Mine just goes a bit down for some reason. Yeah, besides the hip kibble and how you transform the legs, it's a pretty good figure. The only die cast is in his feet, I can visibly see. And now we're going to transform him. I'm probably gonna make this into a separate video because it takes me a while to transform him back and forth. I'm gonna show you how to transform him gun to robot, robot to gun, just because I need to practice more. Alright, let's start by taking off his fusion cannon. Oh, uh, let's start with his head first, eh? Push it down. Bring it up. Hey, now it looks like his OG one self. <laughs> Push up the head. Alright, now. Alright, what I like to do is. Just take off the panels from the hips and shoulders because you tend to get really frustrated when they keep falling off over and over again alright so the arms well the hands right now get in there fingers get in there It's hard to be an evil Decepticon leader when you have such stiff fingers. It's kind of hard to point when you can't straighten out your fingers either. Uh, this here is the tricky part of the upper assembly. You just need to push it down and out so you can get this stuff back out without breaking anything. It makes a nice pop. You can push it down if you want into this part, which is diecast. Whoops, whatever. And then you can push. Oh, this one's already pushed in, and so is this. What we're gonna do now is I do it at an angle so it's easier. You just push down on it, we'll pop right in, and then just bend it slightly, take this one back, push it in, into the slot, so it all nice in one piece, put 
this one back in down and we push the assembly on itself which is kind of difficult all right never mind just leave this out for now and doing the same thing on the other side doing this the wrong way Usually what I do is I go ahead and push this switch up so it would be easier to work with. Now let's just pull these up. See this spine? You just push it out. And there it goes. Now you push the arms in. You know, the reason I'm telling you about what I'm doing is because I know for a fact you're not going to be able to see this. Because this is really a hard one to do neatly. Alright, so just push. Oh, yes, one thing. Inside. These panels, there are these things that interconnect to each other, so don't forget to flip them out. There's one on the bloody feet, too, so got for that, and just make sure everything connects together very well. And then you just push this on here you put this straight out like that now for the rest of it down around in now you just push down and lock it. Now for the dreaded lower legs. Alright, so you just push down and it'll flip out. And you just make it you go, you point the legs straight down for the transformation And for the crotch plate, there, sides, there, and then you fold these out for the middle, you fold up, and then you just tab it into place when you can't if you can right. half of it's already done you can have them in in gun garak mode just shooting around like psh, whatever all right now, where should I start? Alright, the thighs. Push up these things because you need to do that. Hips. Ah, oh, this is so hard. Ah, Okie dokie. Just flip that. 
fold it out because you're gonna need the room and just untab the trigger And you have to be careful about the trigger part, because I already broke it on mine. That the only reason it's still here is because of super glue, so be careful of the trigger. Alright. And then we turn it upside down and just untab, untab, untab the, the entire thing. Just push it in flat, flush. Then P on the other side. Pull down the big red piece. Be careful not to break it. Push, fold this back out. Fold it around. Now for the feet, just push out, fold, fold, push. Fold. Turn it around and then push in. Fold this in. Lock into place. Gonna do with the other side. Fold, fold. Around in close fold. Now the difficulty you have to fold this, then like this at right angles, and you just gently push on it till it gives way, then until it locks into place. Let's try showing you that again. Push in the thigh. Just push in. Uh, let's see. Where we are at right now. Alright. Now. You just fold these in. Oh yes. Right, 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 right. I almost forgot. Panels in here you have to fold out so it interconnects. Sometimes that can be a real problem especially if you have short nails and you just fold all of this in on itself and just tab it and peg it into place. Even the trigger. Make sure everything's in there. It's now be a good time to put in these. Just push in and angle it down until it tabs it's got really good details inside her but that's uh, and tab alright 
you're just gonna hold the handle and two halves together just push on it until everything locks into place trigger sticks on mine but that's only be and that's and it's stuck before the soup glue so that's a problem and then with the spring or something and then you can just put in the scope and here you have your oversized Walter P38 with the red lights of death alright um, see you guys for reverse transformation but this the scope is weird because they have these things on the side which does about nothing that I know of on the figure and then there's this there's this big gaping hole that doesn't do nothing I don't know maybe the upgrade set the weapon set for this I'll cover it up maybe not but just feels weird alright and let's get back on on gun to robot flip this right off then what you do is you separate the two halves it's like that and you just use your fingernails or anything to get in there and separate the tabs and the pegs and all whatnot because uh, some of them really sticks in there <laughs> there you have it just To the side, fold to the side, and this is the tricky part because there's this black tab right here, and it's pretty damn difficult to get out. Because if you try to pull it, you want to get the thigh, and it'll take a while to get it all up there, and most of the time when you do it it feels like you're gonna rip it right in half so that's something to watch out for pushing this, take this out. I think it's pushed in fold it up flap, get out the foot in food in you see this one's trigger on this is coming loose so you better watch out for that and there's the whole peg fitted right in there fits right in there though fold fold it the other way around then you can Lock it on to that tab right there. Then you can tab it on here. If you can get it on there. And then it'll tab right in there. Most of the time it will just re-tab this. Anyway, while fixing the foot. Well, the legs. Anyway. So, Fold, out, 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 out. Fold, nice and fold just downwards. So the lines going down, and most of the kibble is sticking out towards the front. 
then you just repeat on the other side and when we get back this leg will be completely finished and alright and let's just fold these in your snap when you got it in right of course when you bring this you take this out on what type of snap you hear you either did it right or wrong if you're a small snap that's good if you're a big snap suddenly your figure is in two well you can kind of guess what happened And remember, always pull the folded section on the bottom. Alright? Now it's like this. Just break it in half. Pull these back down again. Fold it in on itself. Fold these out, fold this out, pull it in, fold this around, push up, and normally this is what happens, that you just have to push out more, and without breaking the entire figure and there we go and then you just pull apart take apart the head, pull apart the arms and just do the transformation for the arms here, just make it easier for you. Out, hands, hands, come out, come out. Flap hand back in and just fold out the shoulder movement. <laughs> Just so uh, you fit it in right. Pull. Pull. Uh, up. Then get all of these in the right place. Pull the spine in. And you push it in. And now this. This is hard by getting this connected to that. Just push up, push up and in and it'll snap. Just put everything back together, push out this. No, that won't be apparent on this one, but on this one you'll see what it does. You pull this in, out, and then you pull this out. Now for the back, you just 
make it like a support system the head just fold he claps the neck in there fold down bucket head and you pull up his bucket head connecting connecting the fusion cannon onto him and he is done ready to attack the Autobots and lead the Decepticons in your house if you can afford them all right his attack his articulation his legs I don't pop them out 360 sideways up down knee it's double jointed thigh part of the transformation it's hip it's very stiff torso not really because of the spine his shoulders 360 double jointed bicep his hands oh this is good 360 as well his hands can go 360 his head 360 side to side up and down slightly <sighs> now he is not quite a masterpiece because of design flaws and how difficult it is to transform them compared to well I don't have any other masterpiece figures that I have so I don't know who to compare them to but he's still a good figure um go pick him up he should be a great figure and has Just buy them. Alright, just buy them. Buy them, play with them. Spin McMissile. He's in a race. I still function as a great representation of the character in toy form. You must buy me.